the always knowledgeable and entertaining Dave Edelman is here. And Dave has a list of the best restaurants in town. Let me explain this, Dave. You have this uncanny ability. Mm -hmm. I can say to you the name of any city or town anywhere in New England, and you immediately come back to me, and you know the best restaurant in that town. Explain how you have developed this talent over the years. I have a group of eccentric, eclectic friends <laughs> from politics and media and business who call me at all hours of the day and say things like, hey, Dave, I'm in Lemonster. I'm looking for mac and cheese and a hot dog. Okay. And they expect me to answer immediately. So I have tried to develop a mental roster in my Ahead of the best place in every town. Not that anyone could just go on phantomgourmet.com and right. search as they're supposed to. They got to use me as their personal concierge service. It's a lot more fun this way. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to grill you right now, okay? Right. Let's start in the South Shore. Let's go to Situate, Massachusetts. Beautiful place. What's the best restaurant in that town? Yeah, beautiful seaside community on the South Shore. And I recommend a place called Oro. Mm, good one. Wonderful spot. Really feels like a city restaurant. Always packed. You can see the boats right outside the restaurant. So you know the seafood is a good bet. You can also get a great steak, creative salads, delicious oysters. I recommend the sweet corn chowder. Mm. This is a modern version of classic New England clam chowder. It is packed with sweet corn, little neck clams, kicked up with some hunks of bacon, really is a soup that eats like a meal. All right, so you got a town uh, on the South Shore. That's good. Let's go north, okay? New Hampshire, I'm gonna throw it at you. Bedford, New Hampshire, nice little suburb outside of Manchester. Uh -huh. What's the best restaurant in the town of Bedford? Go to the Copper Door. Okay. They actually have a $20,000 Copper Door. Cool. And <laughs> once you open it up, Dan, you see a cool space, soaring ceilings, wooden beams, a menu that's really focused on American classics and comfort food. Every meal starts with fresh baked monkey bread you rip apart with your hands, which I love because I have awful manners. They have appetizers <laughs> like bacon wrapped shrimp, sirloin egg rolls, gourmet meatloaf and onion strings, southern fried chicken, but you must try the Bananas Foster. I learned to love this in New Orleans. They do it great beautiful presentation with sliced bananas and that rich butter rum sauce. Another good, you're two for two so far. Okay, now a lot of people may not know, when we were really little, we lived in the town of Milton, Massachusetts, you know, just south of Boston. There weren't a lot of restaurants at that time. Now they're starting to get some restaurants. So what is the best restaurant in Milton? You gotta go to uh, Abbey Park, mm -hmm. okay? Now, Milton was a town that uh, used to frown upon uh, alcohol. Right. Now these guys have a full bar. And by the way, all these towns, learn your lesson. Unless you allow a little bit of flexibility with alcohol, you're not going to have any good restaurants. Sure. This place is really, really cool. Nice dining room, great open space. Chef's an MMA fighter. You know he's good with his hands. Modern American food with Mediterranean influence, flatbread pizzas, steaks, seafood. Must try the burger, Dan. Mm. This is specifically the American Wagyu burger. Did I yeah. say it right? Wagyu? Wagyu beef. Wagyu. Yeah. Made with some of the best beef you can find. Aged cheddar cheese, caramelized onions on a nice grilled bun. All right, one more, and I'm going to try and stump you with this one quickly. Danvers, Massachusetts, towards the North Shore. Where are you going, the best place? Well, for breakfast and lunch, I go to New Brothers Cafeteria. But for dinner, I recommend Nine Elm. It's a husband-wife team, an American bistro. Food is just absolutely fantastic. Great onion soup. I love the grilled pork chop. It is beautiful and thick. Brined in apple cider served with potatoes and veggies. It's delicious. Wow, that is Dave Allen. Maybe you should just like tweet out your cell phone you number. Me. If people <laughs> want to get the personal <laughs> restaurant recommendation, they could get it.